Good morning, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Dr. Lee Warren here with you on New Thing November, and we're going to give you a quiet time from last year today uh, about what to do when you keep making the same mistakes. I mean, it's really hard when you're trying to break through. It gets discouraging because most of us tend to fall back into patterns, and when we're trying to make a new thing, when we're trying to embrace God's plan for our lives, that He's got a new thing to prepare us for the year of the Lord's favor, when it's, it's time to cast some things off. It, there's just so much inertia around the synapses and the way that we've always done things. And so it's inevitable for most of us that we're going to struggle a little bit to finally break those patterns. And when you do, you need some thought processes to help you not beat yourself up, but to reframe your thinking to help you go forward. So this episode is is about that. It's a quiet time we did before. It's really uh, short and to the point. It's going to be helpful. There's some good music at the end to use a little bit of meditation and worship time. And before we get into the episode, I just want to ask you to pray for a woman named Mary who wrote in. She's gone through a number of massive things in her family, her and her husband have dealt with, and now she just found out she has a recurrence of breast cancer, has a stage four recurrence, and she's dealing with cancer and and the emotional and and physical and medical overwhelm that that can create. Uh, Mary, we are praying for you and your husband and your family, and and we just want you to know that the listeners all over the world are going to be thinking about you today. Mary put herself out on the prayer wall, so you can go to the prayer wall at wleewarrenmd.com slash prayer wleewarrenmd.com slash prayer if you want to read Mary's prayer request and click that button to let her know that you're praying for her. And there's a lot of other incredible things on the prayer wall right now. And if you've got something on your heart and you want some prayer, you can put your request out there as well. Um, With the one caveat, we're having some people write in lately and put other people's specific first and last names on the prayer wall with something negative, like, you know, John Smith of... 213 East Main Street in Broken Bow, Oklahoma is is inhabited by a demon. Like don't, if you say something like that that's personal and connected to an individual that someone could identify, we we just can't post that. So I'm sorry, but please be sensitive if you're praying for somebody else that it, that it's really a um something that we could publicly post without, you know, defaming another person. So make it anonymous or don't use someone's first or last name if you're if you're concerned about something that could be construed as negative or harmful towards them we just can't put that kind of thing out on a public forum of course so we do moderate these prayer requests and we try to post all of them but but from time to time there's one that we just it's just too um personal or negative and we just can't post it so we are praying for you we care about those things but be sensitive in how you uh, describe the events and the people that you're that you're asking for prayer for and, and please um don't use people's first and last names or specific locations and uh give them some anonymity and God's big enough to know who you're talking about so we just can't we can't publicly uh, talk about some of those things on the prayer wall so that being said get out on the prayer wall pray for people share your heart uh, and pray for Mary today and it's new thing November okay it's time to cast off everything that's been holding us back to throw aside even sin patterns that have been hurting us it's time to embrace this idea that God has a new thing for us friend And even though you're going to make mistakes and we're all going to struggle a little bit to break free, there's a way, there's a path, and we're going to get after it this month. Before we do any of that, though, I just have one question for you. Hey, are you ready to change your life? If the answer is yes, there's only one rule. You have to change your mind first. And my friend, there's a place where the neuroscience of how your mind works smashes together with faith and everything starts to make sense. Are you ready to change your life? Well, This is the place, Self Brain Surgery School. I'm Dr. Lee Warren, and this is where we go deep into how we're wired, take control of our thinking, and find real hope. This is where we learn to become healthier, feel better, and be happier. This is where we leave the past behind and transform our minds. This is where we start today. Are you ready? This is your podcast. This is your place. This is your time, my friend. Let's get after it. First of all, Colossians 3.13 says, Be kind to yourself and be kind to each other, bearing with one another and forgiving each other. Whoever has a complaint against anyone, just as the Lord forgave, so also should you. And that includes yourself. So Colossians 3.13 is a license to forgive, is a mandate to forgive other people since you've been forgiven, but also a license to forgive yourself. If you're making mistakes, acknowledge it. Acknowledge what's going on and just try to refocus, but don't beat yourself up. And Nicole Malachowski said on my podcast yesterday, the runway behind you is of no value to you, friend. 
So if you made a mistake yesterday, you know what? You can't fix that now. You can go, if you, if you need to apologize to somebody or make something right, you can do that. If you need to repent or confess a sin, you can do that. But you can't live in the shame and blame and, you know, just beating yourself up for whatever happened yesterday. You've got to change it and move forward, right? So No Slip November is not about a 30-day mistake-free life. It's about getting your head on straight about how to fix these things going forward so they get better, right? So the idea that we want to spend just a minute today is quit looking backwards and start looking forward, okay? I played you Tommy Walker's song forward the other day, but but we're not going to have to repeat that today, but there's a wonderful song from Unspoken, a great band, Unspoken, that I like a lot, uh, some, a song that they wrote called Mistakes, and we'll just play that today and get a little perspective on making mistakes, but I just want you to stop beating yourself up so much. One of the things that causes us to fall back into repetitive patterns is that we give have a sense of giving up, like, I just can't seem to make this change, so I might as well just acquiesce to it, Right. Can't stop drinking, so I might as well just drink. That, that's not the idea. The idea is press in, acknowledging your mistakes, and look forward and, and ask God to give you the strength. I can do all things through him who gives me strength, right? That's Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. So, yeah, if you've made a mistake, if you've already fouled up your first week of November, guess what? Today's a new day, friend. You're not defined today by what you did yesterday. You're not. Change your mindset and don't give up. Don't give in. You can yield to overcome. You can say, yes, this happened. I need to stop fighting against the reality of that it did happen. I need to reset my mind and focus on going forward. So maybe I can overcome with God's help whatever this situation is that I have been held back by. And Hebrews 12 says, cast off everything that hinders, right? Cast off the things that are entangling you, friend. And it's time to just move forward. So, yeah, we're going to make mistakes. Yes, you might have messed up yesterday, but you don't have to mess up today. And you don't have to give in and, and be negative about the idea that you never seem to be able to make progress. Because you can. The most important part is to change your mind about it. To stop thinking it's impossible or insurmountable for you to go 30 days without drinking alcohol, for example. Because you don't have to. You just have to go today. And you don't even have to go today because you're probably not going to drink in the morning. So you don't have to worry about the morning. You're probably not going to drink if you're at church. You don't have to worry about that. Probably not going to drink if you're you know, driving to town this afternoon. It's probably tonight around 5 or 5.30 or 6 or 7 or whatever your habit is that kicks in. So you really just have to deal with that period of time, right? So go for a walk. Call your friend. You know, do something different. Shake up your routine. Don't fall back into that same pattern that's creating the opportunity for you to easily make that same mistake again. Just change your mindset. Change your mindset about it and it'll be okay. Father God, please give us today a new set of eyes to see that, yes, we make mistakes, but you've already forgiven them. Yes, we make mistakes, but you knew that day was coming, so we shouldn't be ashamed of it because you paid for it. You were willing to come and die for us to wipe out that sin that you knew we were going to commit. With that valuable to you, you spread your arms out wide and you laid down for us because you love us. And we know you love us. So help us today not to be filled in our heads with the voice of the enemy telling us that, yes, we made this mistake again, so that means we're defined by it and we can never change it. Because we know that all things are possible because you will give us the strength, Father. So help us to refocus and reset our minds today and aim ourselves forward and forget that runway behind us because it's of no value to us. And help us to run with perseverance the race marked out before us, Father. And for my friend who's struggling with the same pattern of behavior or the same issue or same mistake that they just can't seem to shake today, Father, give them a new set of eyes on it. Help them to break the problem down into bites they can handle and not feel like they have to eat the whole elephant all at once. Father, give us strength, give us endurance, give us peace, give us hope. We desperately need it. And let us listen to this song, Unspoken, from Unspoken, called Mistakes. And let's just worship you, the God who can write a new story, have your life story be written out by how Jesus helped you break that chain and how today was the day that you drew a line in the sand and you said, I'm starting today. I try to hide them 
Sometimes it feels like I'm defined by them All of the evidence stacked against me All of the fingers are pointed at me I can't deny it All of my mistakes Woven through my story All the mess I make God use it for your glory Every wrong turn it's true Let me right here to you I may lose my way Nothing's greater than your grace Not even my mistakes Hey, thanks for listening. The Dr. Lee Warren podcast is brought to you by my brand new book, Hope is the First Dose. It's a treatment plan for recovering from trauma, tragedy, and other massive things. It's available everywhere books are sold, and I narrated the audio books. Hey, the theme music for the show is Get Up by my friend Tommy Walker, available for free at TommyWalkerMinistries.org. They are supplying worship resources for worshipers all over the world to worship the Most High God. And if you're interested in learning more, check out TommyWalkerMinistries.org. If you need prayer, go to the prayer wall at WLeeWarrenMD.com slash prayer, WLeeWarrenMD.com slash prayer, and go to my website and sign up for the newsletter, Self Brain Surgery, every Sunday since 2014, helping people in all 50 states and 60 plus countries around the world. I'm Dr. Lee Warren. And I'll talk to you soon. Remember, friend, you can't change your life until you change your mind. And the good news is you can start today.